it's just everything takes over you, doesn't it? Uh, we was on for a sub 3.30 at the time, and, um, and to be honest, it just all came over me, mate. I came over Tower Bridge, extremely overwhelmed, it all sort of anxious, panic, etc. I just sort of hit, hit hard. Jay, 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 <laughs> What's that move? Oh, you alright? Tired, oh, yeah. but I'm still here. <laughs> marathon complete, London Marathon 2022 done. How was it? <laughs> Overwhelming, tough, amazing, um, but to be honest, hell. <laughs> From start to finish, mate, real, real tough thing for the body to overcome, actually. One side of it disappointed with the time I got, but on the other side, um, extremely proud of getting it done, mate. You went off like an absolute gun. Tell us about the first few miles that you clocked up at a really good pace. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of training, to be honest. I mean, uh, what I tried to do was um, get my runs done early. I was doing four or five runs a week. Obviously, you know, I was doing it for a great charity and, and, and had a lot of people come and support, so I wanted to do, do everyone proud, really. Um, I was training with someone the whole time and we set off at a really nice pace, but at the time it didn't actually feel uh, as if we were going too fast. Just everything takes over you, doesn't it? Um, and then I got to Tower Bridge, which is half a marathon. Uh, we was on for a sub 3.30 at the time. And, um, and to be honest, it just all came over me, mate. I came over Tower Bridge, extremely overwhelmed, it all sort of anxious panic, etc. just sort of hit, hit hard. And after that, um, just had to have a little stop, gather myself. Uh, maybe a lot of life stuff generally sort of taking over me, mate. And then uh, I just had to really soldier on until the end. So the second half was extremely tough for me. Um, but that's the proud bit that I'm, that I'm really happy with. And you're seeing all the fans and, and, and everything as you're coming over, everyone cheering your name. And, you know, 40,000 40, people doing the run as well as, well as I'm, I'm sure so many people coming to watch to support you. It's just amazing, which makes you sort of kick into sort of uh, fight mode and, and, and get it done as well, best as I could, mate. But it was a tough, tough day. I suppose when you're running for yourself and on your own in the training leading up to the marathon, yeah. it must be super, super overwhelming with all the people that are watching you. Like, yeah. do, does it give you some, I must give you some huge inspiration and drive to keep on going. Did you yeah, find that? Yeah, I did, yeah. I think that, you know, you're looking at people around you and, and, and obviously when you're doing it for certain uh, a certain charity and you know what they've gone through or the other charities that you're running with, what they've gone through, some of the people that are running it and how they're running it, you know, you've got people there with, with no legs running a marathon, you know, so you sort of think to yourself how lucky you are. Um, but still, uh, you know, it, it becomes a mental challenge um, and that mental challenge, being honest, nearly overtook um, and I did want to stop at points. Um, but then you just get it done, you know, it's one of those things I've always sort of been mentally strong as such, but I'll, I'll be honest, there was points in that that are, are, are sort of, uh, were new limits that I had to cut, overcome, mate. But so that's that's the proud part, but me being me, I, want, I always want better. <laughs> and what charity you, um, did you run for? Yeah, so it's the Sammy Joe Foundation, um, which was a special actually, a friend of mine. Um, we done a golf day last year, you know, Lewis, um, and um, I, I sort of heard their story and thought, wow, what an amazing charity to try and um, do the marathon for, and I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased I have. So yeah, I pegged it from Tower Hill across the Green Park to yeah. the finish line down towards um, Horse Guards Parade, where I saw you, and I have to say, when I saw you cross that line, and I'm sure we'll overlay some footage of that moment when I saw you literally cross that finish line pretty much, um, you made me never ever want to do a marathon and I, th I was hoping there was someone there to help me because I thought you were going to drop down there. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like <laughs> I felt so proud of you at the time, you know, and I'm sure your family members felt exactly the same as I did. Yeah. They were there to greet you as well, weren't they? Yeah, they were. It was, uh, listen, to be honest, it was amazing. That was a, a, a whirlwind after. I just sort of felt a bit delirious and, and not knowing what to do. And I've never had it like that before. I literally sat down for an hour and a half after, as you know. <laughs> I've just dragged me to the floor. And it was just, um, just sort of maybe everything coming together. I think sometimes 
I know it's cliche to say, but life smacks you in the face, <laughs> and it definitely did. Uh, and then at the end, it's one of those where you're just thinking, everything that's happening, I've got a lot going on in my life at the moment, whether that be business, personal, having a baby coming up, Jojo can come, you know, that sort of thing. And you know, one of the, you know, when, you, when you're also uh, making it known that you're doing it, it's an added heat on yourself, isn't it? So that, you know, maybe all of that coming together was one of the reasons that, I had a bit of a blip within a marathon and at the end it's just sort of it all came crashing down really, throwing up everywhere and all that sort of thing. But you know, at the end of the day I got it done. Um, but yeah, just amazing for amazing support. Uh, I'm so lucky to have the people around me. I had so many messages um, which was amazing. Um, the support through the day you, you grabbed on the on the Instagram which was cool. But once again, it's sort of all that heat on you at the time. I think it all just you know came on me and it took me a little bit of time to recover from that to be honest, mate. And how's your body Fair enough at the moment. All right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, being honest, after I generally could have walked between uh, um, between then and the end of the day, but um, I had a down day and then um, back on it. Has to be. Mm. <laughs> and has it given you inspiration to do any more marathons, whether that be here, New York, Berlin, Spain? Let's cut on that and talk about that later. No, I'm joking. I think after I would say absolutely never again. Just with the mentality I felt that I've always had it. Just that I've, uh, I feel like I have unfinished business. Whether it's that or something else. I knew you would say that, and that's the thing of you. Like being the super competitive man that you are, I know you'll probably go for a better time. I mean, 407, incredible time anyway, which you should be very, very proud of. Um, but I know you, you want no. to get that sub 330, don't you? That would be the dream. Um, not even that. I mean, listen, just under under the four hours would have been amazing. That was what I went for, and you know, I can be open about it. I, I, I felt that that's what I had in me. Um, I felt like I've got a lot more to give within, you know, sort of the running side. But listen, you don't know how it's going to affect you on the day. So, you know, first of all, I've done it great, but um, yeah, I feel like I've, I've left it open a little bit. But don't tell my missus that. <laughs> <laughs>